What's happening guys, it's Smax Games here, back with another video, and today I'm going to show you the best way possible to start off on Tribes of Midgard. So please make sure to smash the like button, please make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see more content like this in the future. The first thing that you guys want to go around and collect is Flint and branches you need a lot of this at the very very start just so it can get you rolling so you can build yourself a flint lumber axe and a flint pickaxe the moment you guys get a flint lumber axe and the flint pickaxe you can start chopping down all the trees that you guys see and you can also start mining any rocks that you guys see so what you're going to be looking for is the boulders like that for iron and what you guys are going to be looking for for stone is these rigid rocks that are there around the map and you this gives you stone so you can make hammers and all these other different types of weapons i am gonna make sure that i'm using the sword and i'm also gonna make sure that i've got a bow these are gonna be the two main weapons for me and if you guys press the left analog button it rotates between the weapons so as you've also got some wood you can build yourself a shield and that's your basic weapons at the very very start and now you can go around and find these different camps and start fighting with the different enemies in them areas so at the very start of the game you guys are going to want to try and fight all of these different monsters and these different enemies around you but just bear in mind that if the enemy is out of reach it normally is for a good reason it probably means that you're not powered for them yet so you've got no chance of fighting them and if you guys look at the top left of the screen it says significant power 90 out of 20 so it does let you know that in this area you are powerful enough to kill most of these enemies but when you find a camp you sometimes actually find treasure and these have good loot and good items in them that can give you a massive boost but in some of these camps you tend to have a mini boss or a little boss that's a bit stronger than the normal minions and they can be very very dangerous and then these are some things that you should be looking out for is shrines this can make fast traveling from your village all the way into this area so you don't have to run all the way back and forth and if you guys click the right analog in it forces a teleport and it does have a regeneration point so as you can see i teleported back to my village i can now run back and make my armor and get ready for my village to be under attack so i can make myself a villager cap a villager tunic a villager wraps a villager pants and a villager shoes and now i'm completely armored up and then at this point you guys should be getting blessings so you can choose what type of person you want to be I've gone with the warrior uh, because I do prefer using the sword and the shield I find it so much more fun but if you guys want to be a ranger that's fine you can choose them abilities and then on the top left of your screen it should say that if you have any blessing points and if you do have any blessing points you can use these to boost your attributes so this is what happens when you level up and then the next thing is going to happen on your first night is your village is going to get attacked and you're going to get all of these monsters attacking your village and your villagers are going to also attack the monsters and help develop, uh, defend your village. So each time that you guys upgrade the villagers they do become more powerful and much more stronger. So after every time your village gets attacked your tree is going to lose souls and you guys need to feed it with souls so do bear that in mind you need to feed it to a certain point so it can still generate health and it's still a healthy tree um you guys are going to want to use your souls next to upgrade one of the shops i chose to upgrade the blacksmith first thing because i want to get more powerful weapons so i can run around and destroy more targets and different enemies in the area and i can gain more souls what you can also do is these quests you get a quest board and they give you different items different souls all of these different types of things that helps you further on down the line and then what you guys are going to start doing is progressing and moving yourself out of your village and out of the little area because you have your ruin to teleport back and you guys are going to try and find these little grey goblins if you find these little grey goblins in the area you should find a silver deposit as well as these little grey uh, goblins that give you small bones and then this is the next type of upgrades that you need for upgrading your weapons as well as upgrading your armor there will be a lot of different enemies and a lot of different things that you might see in these areas but don't stray too far because you have got to go back to defend your village 
as well as the fact that you want to make sure that you're in a area where you have enough power as you can see the power level of the next area is 40 and my power level is 149 so I'm more than capable of fighting these different monsters and then the next thing that you guys can see is that I'm upgrading my armor now so I'm choosing a better shield I'm choosing better uh, helmet a better tunic a better wraps and a better boots I'm choosing a better everything because I have now got the small bones and the silver to do so to upgrade myself so after a couple of days these different type of events start happening inside your world you get a frost giant that tries to attack and you can choose to try and take it out straight away or you get to meet this stag and when i first saw this stag i thought jesus i've got to fight a boss and i was a bit nervous but approach it and you get these event fragments as well as these different types of potions and other gifts from them so i hope this video has helped you to get you started on the tribes of midgard please make sure you smash the like button please make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to see more content like this in the future peace